What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we're back. Farm Simulator 2022, brother. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! Just hanging out here. It's been a busy day. A busy day. As you can see from $242,000 in the top right, I am just grabbing stuff and selling it to my pleasure, my leisure. Full of fancy, full of wonder. And that's because we now have magic on our side, everybody. Watch out. Hold on. Boop. Boop, boop, boop. All the loaders are here, dog. We did a live show. Oh, it's like Christmas. One, two, three, oh, ha. Ah. Come along. Give me some more. Five, six, seven, eight. We can make it great. Come on. Okay. Uh, I guess not. I uh, suppose not. All right. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Oh, oh, okay. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Hold on. <laughs> Pardon me. <laughs> oh. Why, hello there. Auto loaders are here. And they're here to stay, but they're not uh, something for everybody. Let's not get crazy. Some people like to have the forklift rise and lower everything down to the ground. They want to keep that realism down to a pure art form. Yes, yes. But then there are people like me that don't have a whole lot of time and don't really, uh, not I mean don't really want to do it, but are, aren't really all that proficient, if you will, in the forklift. I break stuff all the time. It's a bit of a problem, but we got a couple. We got a couple of auto loaders here. Oh, look at this. We're all geeked out, ready to rock and roll. Oh, this thing is all kind of jackknifed. Hold on. <laughs> the, the, I'm sorry, I'm not displaying you properly there. There we go. It's like, please stop jackknifing me. Sorry, trailer. Ah, yes, the farm tech. And then we have this little John here. But we also have others. Oh, like what? So, let's go in here. Uh, the one thing I don't care for is their categorization of most of these trailers. Because they're all over the place. Like, I can't just go in here, scroll all the way down. That's where this tiny guy is. The Strathman. That is our guy right here. So he's just a little guy. But then we have this guy right here. And this is in the bailing technology. I'm going to different screens. I apologize. I apologize. Bail loaders. It's considered a bail loader. But it doesn't actually do bales. It only does pallets. So it's silly. But if you really want to get wild, we can go into our low loaders. And we have another auto loader. And this auto loader actually raises up and down because it's a low loader. Here's a problem that I've noticed when it comes to some of these auto loaders. This bale now is in the shop. So whenever I want to like take a look at something. Like, let's get some grape technology. Let's take a look at this. Uh, 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 uh. I got problems all over the place, man. Got rogue bales taking out all my equipment. Sometimes it actually works out the way that we you know, unexpectedly join the display of it. It's like, let's sit down on top. It's like, oh, 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 look at you. You're pretty. Hmm, it's like a pedestal. Although, it's kind of whack. Also, let's see here. Miscel miscellaneous. This bad boy right here does nothing but square bales, and it actually unloads them too. Goes all the way up to 24. It's actually working pretty, uh, pretty okay. Um, I forget who was mentioning it in our live stream, which we did every single Sunday. Hit the bell notification, be all aware and crap. And we're gonna sell some canola because now it doesn't really matter what the prices are. You know, you can dig on the uh, the high prices, but since we're actually able to load all of these things up so quickly. That now it doesn't really matter what the price is. We can do it ourselves. What's it? What do we have in the canola here, man? Oh, oh no! We're out of canola. Well, it just means we're gonna have to have we have to have a harvest. Gonna ha oh no! Hold on. See, this is the one thing I do not like about this trailer. I forget what these kind of uh, these hitches are, but it's like a, it's got a dolly kind of hitch. I don't know what it's called. It's a different kind of hitch than than just a hard welded to the trailer hitch. I hate these because, as you know, I'm the king of backing up and reversing. And when you back up and reverse this, it's almost impossible. <laughs> to me, anyway. But to you experts out there, it's probably easy as pie. We also moved our cell point for our honey over here for our factory O cereal, our cereal O fun. So that way, if I wanted to, what should I do? Look at this. And we got all of the honey pallets unlocked. Yes, yes. Auto loaders did it. I've tried multiple times to get these things out of the ground. Just didn't work. 
But then the autoloader came in and was like, nice. So you might want to have a little tiny guy on your property or just lease one real quick in case you have a pallet stuck in the earth. So even if you know you don't want to use it, it's good to have just to be able to get some glitchy stuff out of there, even though these things can get glitchy. That low loader that I showed you there. Let's see here, the low loader. Boop. This thing was doing like... This thing had like hydraulics. And it was just bouncing up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. And then it was moving my truck up and down, up and down, up and down. And then all the, uh, all the different crates that we had on here, all the pallets, they flew everywhere. So be wary about that low loader one. It's neat. It's nifty. It's spiffy. It works, but there's some weird stuff that go along with it. Plus, since it's a low loader, it loads low on your tractor and then you'll start doing wheelies so you'll have to have a front weight just to be able to pull the thing and it's kind of a pain what are we gonna get for canola oh my goodness all the fabric wool we have started our sheep our sheep factory yes a sheep sheep got 520 and we got some cotton on the way canola though hmm it's a bummer man get some agua some water grape juice 21,000 we're getting low we're getting low on everything man that's a lot. We got ourselves a lots of work to do, but we can go ahead and sell what we need to sell, make some cash, and maybe get ourselves some fancier digs. $2,469. Good lord, that's low. Ooh, but that's nice. Grocery mode. How about cereal? 4000 you say. Hmm. I just sold a whole bunch of eggs because the prices yesterday were at like 3400 My prices do not go up. <laughs> maybe I should set the economy to easy, and then I'll boost up someone in the comment section down below uh was asking yo what's your uh econ economy level economic difficulty i was like normal buying and selling prices also the revenue of contracts is based on this factor so if i go down to easy look at those prices oh those prices have shot through the roof bro what are, the, what are we getting for clothes stupid that's ridiculous that is unhurt four thousand so yeah that's the reason why my prices are trash they're trash. Back to being normal again. All right, let's go ahead and we'll see what the canola oil goes for 2400 because since everything's just rocking and rolling, I need to get some of this stuff out. We need some instant cash. Maybe to buy another field and also some more sheep. Oh, but ladies and gentlemen, you're going to be struggling. You're going to need a tractor to hold all of this weight and pull all this weight and do all the weight that you need to, need to do. As you can see, and during the last stream, we did some building. Oh, yes, we did some lovely building. I'll show you the spinnery that we have going on here for our wool. I'll show you the, I'll show you all the cool stuff because we have to go and show the bale auto loader as well. Yes. Go ahead. Take it, take it, take it, take it, take it, take it. Let's go. Nice. Making that chatter, brother. Making that sweet, sweet monies. And we'll go sell all of our stuff. And then I'll show you the bale auto loaders, especially the bale auto loaders. The one thing about these auto loaders is that they don't have an option to unload. It's kind of a drag. So say for instance, I want to be able to, you know, unload these. And we go unload here, which is control I. But they don't have any way for you to like get them off. So you will have to get either a forklift to get them off or you just drive it over the cell point anyway and they'll just vanish on you. So it's up to you. Just be wary be aware and by the way if you don't have any of these latched down they're just gonna fall off as you can see by the amazing pirouette of pallets a pirouette of pallets I tell you the dance that you have to kind of make to try and get them all fit You're, it's not gonna be it's pretty your OCD will freak out but it loads them ow sorry there's a wall there 100% confirmed a wall hold on hold on let's back her up back her up back her up we need cash. Get after it, bro. Slash them down. Take off the latches. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Beautiful. $47,000. Love it. Tis exactly what we need to succeed. I need a new tractor. I need a new harvester. We need to speed up production on a lot of things. We need a lot of things to get going again. Canola. The whole shebang bang But we also have a new cash crop. That we're working on it's a slow but steady process that you're also going to need a heavy tractor to perform at least yank around let me show you what's up there sheep 
You got problems? Yeah, you better walk away. I, th I thought I heard you say something when you walked away. You got words? Huh? Huh? Ah, the sheep, they're here. <laughs> and they're gorgeous. They're amazing. So, what we can do is, for our sheepy sheepies, we got a bunch of Black Welsh Mountain Sheeps. Ten of them, to be precise. Yeah, it's total grass. The grass is excellent. So we purchased this field in the tippy top, well not to the tippy top, right next to our vineyard and now this is our grass and I'm going to make a second sheep uh, pen, if you will, and we'll put in the white uh, the white sheep over there. We'll have white sheep, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes sir, yes sir, three bags full! And as a matter of fact, whoo, we do have three bags full! It's amazing! <laughs> We're poets! And also, we have ourselves a bale auto loader, a bale auto loader, I can't talk today. I can't talk, but it's mostly because we're very excited. Hold on. Two, three, four. Let's just take it all. And we'll take it over to our spinnery. As you can see, is marked right over here. I mean, marked. We placed it down. Place some fences around, some nice little, uh, we're going to go into the asphalt. That's right, because we're fancy business. Full of customers. We've got some wonderful lights that do light up in the evening time. These fences are looking gorgeous. And now we have a full-fledged business. That's right. You take those. You take those bales. The Briar Rose Spinnery. And soon we'll have our first pallet of wool. Uh, no, 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 not wool. No, no, no. That's wrong. That's incorrect. That, that would be inc incorrect. We shall have fabric. The fabric itself is pretty expensive, but... If we uh, save enough money, we can build up another clothing mart. Yes. AKA a tailor shop. And drop off our fabric over the tailor shop. It's going to make a whole bunch of t-shirts and, and, and linens and all sorts of doodads. And boom. We are going to be in the green. Overflowing. Overflowing with green. Especially since we have so much money. Haha. <laughs> Now, silage has been sitting here for a couple days, so it's primed. It's ready to get sold. Uh, like I said, you're going to need a good horsepower, something with some decent HPs for these bales. But these, unlike the other autoloaders, will unload for you. It gets a little weird. At first, you got to try it out. All right, so why, uh, why lower the platform? All right, so we're in operating position. Let's go into hit B. As you can see. They're floating, they're made of full of fancy and wonder. We can slide these down, up and down and all around, and hit Y again, and unload the bales here. Fantastic. Okay, we lower the platform. Boom. And then it kind of goes in this weird operating area here. So we can hit Y again, unload those, and boom. We do that again. <laughs> it's floating. We're full of magic. Transportation. Operating position. Unload the bales. Unload the bales here. So yeah, it can get a little weird. It can get a little wonky. You will have to play around with it. But, you know, like everything, it takes time and a little bit of patience. You just gotta go with what Axel Rose says. All we need is just a little patience. Let's go ahead and lash those things down. And let's get to selling, bro. I need, I need some cash, but as you can see, it is Struggle City with this. It's so heavy. It's so heavy. You're going to need something a little beefy to haul this, as you can imagine. Now, it does haul multiple different bales, so the different size square bales, but not the circular bales. Not yet. Not yet, my friends. Links are in the description down below if you would like to download these. I don't have the lower... The lower level, uh, the lower, uh, lower, the lower auto loader. <laughs> it's a, it's a rough one to try and get out the, early in the morning. Uh, I don't have the link to the lower auto loader because it gets a little buggy. And that's no bueno. So look left, look right, safety first, safety first, and teamwork. Let's see if we cannot, see, you know, dump this trailer, dump, dump this trailer. But even if we do dump the trailer, we can just unload the bales. And then flip everything upside down, or flip everything right side up, that is. It gets so confusing. It's so confusing. Come on. Come on, buddy. I believe in you. I believe in you! Uh, to the animal pens. Oh, hold on a second. Hold on. Hold on. Hold up. Got ourselves some collectibles. 
Nice. During the live stream, we started grabbing all of these different kinds of uh, collectibles. It's no longer the golden nougats that we used to have in the farming simulator. Now there's collectibles all throughout. You collect seven or eight in a set. Actually, I think it's nine. Nine, like, harvesters and cows and pigs and chickens. But they're very, very loud. They're loudly painted. So you gotta keep your eyes open. But they're pretty nice. They are also on top of roofs, so again, be wary. Dump it, dump it, yes, yes. More cash, please, more monies, yes. Now that has the, it's the smallest square bales that we could uh, bale up. We can go larger, we just can't wrap them up in silage. Not yet anyway, we don't have a bigger, we don't have a big enough uh, wrapper. It's like every year when we uh, come around to Christmas, I'm not the best rapper in the world, if you get my meaning, if you understand my drift, if you're following what I'm saying, picking up when I'm laying down. Uh, so now every single time I roll by a building, I have to check the roof, looking for collectibles. Like, what's on top of your roof? You mind if I, mind if I do a breaking and entering? You do. Well, that's a problem. That's a real problem. Oh, and more canola. It's the last, it's the last part of the harvest. It's the last part. So let me just show you a couple things that I have done, and we're gonna go buy a tailor shop. Oh, and decorate it. We got our windmills down. I want to put multiple ones, multiple windmills, so that it actually gives us more of a profit. It gives us about three hundred dollars per month per day. So it's nice. But we have a nice little area so I could feed the chickens. Since we already placed the thing down, for some reason, when I try to level this off, even with all the mods to try and level out the terrain, it still does not want to smooth out at all. It's a bummer, man. It's a real bummer. Uh, let's see. Can I... Oh, look at you. Maybe I was wrong. Wouldn't be the first time. Gotta smooth it out. Gotta smooth it out. Smooth it out. Much better. I like it. Let's see if we can maybe smooth out this joint. So one thing that's kind of a bummer about this building mode is that it uh, doesn't really get level to the ground, so you can't really see the mistakes that you're making until you roll a tractor over it and then it falls into a ravine. So like, you know what? That got a little bit better. But now with a full trailer, a feed, I can do an tur easy turnaround here and then go right down the trail to here. Got some nice fences that we have bordering. I'm going to put a, another fence. This kind of got a little wonky. We have trees that line up every two posts. I want to be able to have, we're going to push this out a little bit into this uh, area and then we're going to put a fence up because no offense neighbor. I don't need you looking out your window when you're washing your dishes going, man, those chickens. I think I need to tell that farmer about his chickens. I think I got a pretty good idea. You're like one of those nosy neighbors that just doesn't know when to shut up. But we need to be able to make this a little bit further, but I think this is actually the length. Like, that's as far as I can go. No more pallets. Yes! No more ballet. The ballet of the poor, pirouetted, black swan pallet wonder. Alright, so now the spinnery is right here, but we need a competitor to the tailor shop that's in town. We're gonna make our own. Because we have the skills and the money as well. Yes, yes, yes. Good, good, good. Got the bakery, the carpenter, the dairy farm. Nope. Spinnery, already got it. Sugar mill, grain mill, where is it at? The tailor shop. Is there anything that's a little nicer? Nope, that's it. Okay. Wow. We kind of need a place to go ahead and pick up all of our lovely esteemed items, but we want to make it look comfortably and rustically aesthetic. Is that a word? It's a word now. And you know what? I'm feeling saucy today. I think I'm going to buy it. Boom. And it's on. Now, of course, we're going to have to connect these in the back here a little bit. We're going to have to. It has to be done. It must be done. I'm telling you. And let's kind of do a little curl of the burl to here. We've got to pick up our pallets. Pallet picking. But then we also have to have a nice little asphalt area over here. We have to go in and out and sell things at the grocery. All right, nice. So we do have the place anywhere mod going on right now. So now I can actually build a road close, like right up to the street. 
That's clutch. That's rad. I like it. We got a loading section here. So we can take the wool from here, spin it around, and have enough room to roam so that we don't take out this house. Which, by the way, is equally leveled. Everything here is beautifully leveled. You haven't seen anything yet. Ain't seen nothing yet. Bam, bam. But, but baby, you, you ain't seen no, 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 nothing yet. No, 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 no. Uh, let's see here. There we go. Let's really, let's really f this up. <laughs> Boy, it's gonna, we gotta chop that down. Oh, it's a, it's, it's forever. Forever a task. It really is. It's like you think you got everything down the way you want it down, and then you realize that you're gonna have to cut your chainsaw out and then take out trees. But it's a good thing that we have plenty of time to do that because our wool production is just going underway. Can we just lower that down? We sure can't. Okay, good, good, good. How about everything the light touches is mine? What about all the shaded places? Shut up, Simba. All right, let's go ahead and we'll turn this around. Oh, this looks amazing. This is amazing right here. Hey, guy, can you do me a favor? We're gonna need you to. to we're gonna need you to. We're gonna need you to get going there, Tiger. Look at this. We're getting achievements all day, every day. That's what's up. That's what we do here on this channel. And I think that stump that's in there is really, really going to f up this whole works. Of course it will. Of course it will. Okay, so apparently I need to get the stump out of here. Can I hold can I rip this up? Of course, we have super strength. So I got to rip this up and then maybe this land will then update for me and I can uh, go ahead and pick up all or drop off the wool. This is where we got to do our drop off point. <laughs> Yikes. Needle and stitch. Whatever you say. Whatever you say, bud. Whatever you say. Let's go ahead and grab this. We'll paint it out. We'll do a little wrap around joint. There we go. Slide it around. Now, of course, we'll have to mess around with it once we try for the first time because we'll have to put some fences and something nice and sexy and sleek for you. I don't like how every single building has like some kind of weird mold situation. Like, why do I have to call an expert in to just get rid of the mold or power wash the outside of your building? Ma'am, ma'am, eyes up here, ma'am. Hold on, this thing is sloping all day, too. Got leveled out. Otherwise, it's going to irk the ever-living crap out of me. And let me go. Let's slide you over here. Uh, lift you up. Okay, we just got to do our best with what we got here. I may have to make a longer alley or a wider alleyway than I had originally planned. Man, what a junker. What a junker. <laughs> well, you live, you learn. It's just like an Alanis more set song. So you got to do what you got to do. This crazy wackadoo world. Just to survive. Uh, let's smooth it out here as much as we can here. All around me. Oh yeah, that's a... That's gonna be a problem. We'll keep working on it. We'll keep working on it, but what we don't have to worry about working on anymore is the loading of bales. Now, like I said, a lot of these do not have an unload option. So if you only have like three pallets of something, say like this, you're not going to sell just these three pallets. You want to take those off and store them someplace. Okay, well, you're going to need some sort of mod like the Lift Heavy Things mod, super, super Strength mod like I got, or you'll need a forklift. Something. You're going to need something to unload those bales. Or pallets. Pallets and bales. You get what I'm saying. But folks, a little quickie for everybody, because I have so many fields that need to be redone. I've been kind of showcasing all of the money that we could possibly make and now everything's coming to fruition but now since we've been slacking a little bit we gotta go back to work we gotta go back had we need raisins we need cereal we need all these things canola oil and now wool we're gonna be so rich we're gonna be so rich off those textiles bro you have no idea you have no idea and then we'll have to do another sheep Pen as well. So you not a whole lot of wool, but it'll still give us a nice little uh, nice little stack. And if you give us one stack of that over at the tailor, we'll drop it in. Well, how much does the tailor cost? For every 90 is 45. What what a what a terrible exchange rate. Literally half. Alright, alright, I guess. I mean gotta cut some sleeves. So a lot of fabric, a lot of waste. A lot of waste going into that, I feel. Hmm. 
Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But let me know what you think in the comment section down below. But the autoloaders are here. And they're awesome. They're necessary for multi-paladin farms, especially if you're doing single-player type stuff. If you're doing multiplayer stuff, I don't know if it works on multiplayer, but with multiplayer, you should have a couple friends with some forklifts. But you know what? Uh, who am I to tell you that? I love these windmills. I want to put one more down. I do. As a matter of fact, that's what I'm going to do right now. Not that one. That's what I'll do. Production. Generators. Yes, 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 yes. Ready, set, and... Boom. Love it. We're harvesting the wind. For its energy. Mm. <laughs> yes, but folks, if you enjoy this video, by all means, hit that like button, help out my channel ever so much more than you know. And if you like it a whole lot, go ahead, hit subscribe. New videos come out every single day, live streams every week. Make sure you hit the bell notification and be aware of all the new content. Ca -ca! Everyone, peace out, like shout, shout, and I will check you out right here again in Farming Simulator 2022, brother. Woo! Ha ha! Next time. Well, I'm gonna take you, we're gonna stack you up here. We're gonna have to make more of you. <laughs>